Hey, it's Mo. I am so glad you are here today. Um, I have been kind of putting off this video actually uh, in my February favorites. I said I was going to swatch all the e.l.f. seriously, seriously, satin lipsticks. Well, um, <laughs> I'm not the biggest fan of doing lip swatches because they're a little rough on my lips, but today I finally got some natural light. I'm sitting down, I'm gonna swatch all of these. I'll do arm swatches so you can see kind of side-by-side -side comparisons, but I'll also do lip swatches for you so you can see how they look on. They are the SRSLY, seriously, satin lipsticks from e.l.f. These are $3. I've had the, obviously, I've had these for a couple of months since I mentioned them in February. I bought some of mine actually in store at Target and then the rest I ordered online from e.l.f. I mentioned this, I think, in the Elf Sheer Slicks uh, video that Elf has a thing about um, only releasing certain colors of a line on their website. That was true of the, um, the Sheer Slick. Cherry Slush, I think, was the color that was only available on the Elf website. They did it with their um, bite size palettes, and they also did it with these lipsticks. I'm not exactly sure why they do that probably to get you to shop the e.l.f. website, which obviously I did. Um, e.l.f. typically has free shipping at $25. I know recently they've had a couple of periods of time where they've done free shipping with $15. There have also been random days where they've done completely free shipping on anything. So just something to keep in mind if you happen to like a couple of the colors that you can't seem to buy anywhere else. Um, but this is the packaging. As with the bite-sized eyeshadows, no frills. There is nothing fancy at all about this packaging. It is clear plastic. It says e.l.f. <laughs> it has the shade name on the bottom. Pretty much what you see is what you get. Um, and of course, it's a standard bullet. It just twists up like that. And I have worn these. Again, I've had them for a couple of months. And they've kind of become my go-to lipstick lately. I really like these. I think that they feel great going on their cream lipstick um, with a, we'll say a satin finish. Um, maybe they lean a little matte, but you can certainly blot them if you want them more matte, or you can kind of leave a bit of satin look if you want to. They feel great going on, they stay on well, they wear off well, and they leave at least the darker colors, and there are several bold colors in this line, they leave a fairly nice stain. So, you know, if I put, for example, this color is taffy, this is the color that definitely I've worn the most, and I'll put it on in the morning, and I'll, you know, have coffee, and um, it's fine after that, and then, you know, after lunch or whatever, there's still a stain of color on there. It's not looking freshly applied or anything like that. I could certainly touch it up, and then I'd probably be good until supper. If I didn't know this was a $3 lipstick, I would think probably this was a, a high-end lipstick. It's really, I think the formula is great, and I don't believe, as I recall, they don't have a scent. They're definitely not scented. They smell maybe slightly like slightly like that wax smell or whatever but it it's very very faint but there's no fragrance there's nothing overpowering it's basically you'd have to pretty much put your nose on the bullet to even notice there's any scent at all when I put them on my lips I don't notice anything at all so there are 10 shades in the line as I said uh two of them are only available on the elf cosmetics website um I when I ordered mine you know, it was pretty straightforward. I ordered them, they were shipped, no big deal. I generally have had good luck with the e.l.f. website. I have not ordered from them, you know, in the past several weeks when shipping has slowed down, so I can't um, definitely speak to that, but I um, thought at least I would show you everything and swatch everything and um, tell you how much I love this $3 formula, which I think is spectacular. I've said this before, e.l.f is really making me happy lately with the sheer slicks, with the bite size eyeshadows, with these, the seriously satin lipsticks. They are literally knocking it out of the park for me. And um, so it's really easy to be enthusiastic about it because I'm genuinely really happy about it and I've been using them. So um, let's do, let's do arm swatches first and then I'll do the lip swatches so we can kind of compare the shades. So this is creme. This is the lightest shade in the lineup. Let's go here. I don't know where to do lip swatches. Like on my arm. 
So there's Crumb, obviously a very light shade. And I don't have these necessarily in light to dark order. I did the best I could. Nectar is the next one, which is kind of a, a nude, a warm leaning nude, very pretty color. There is Nectar. Then Taffy is the one that I have on. This is Taffy, kind of a mid-tone pink, not too cool, not too warm. It's kind of a neutral pink, really. Um, and that's very much my kind of color. And there it is. You can see the color payoff on these is really, really nice. Next is Cider, I think. Yes, Cider is next. Again, another warm tone, deeper neutral. Brown leaning. Looks like that. Uh, persimmon. Now this one is one of the, ex I'm calling them exclusive shades. One of the shades that only shows up on the e.l.f. website. This is persimmon. Obviously a very bold, bright orange. I know a lot of people like um, a bright orange for summer. So that might be an option. That was persimmon. Then the next one is pepper, which is a more yellow-based red. There are three reds in this collection of 10 shades, so lots of reds. There's pepper, more yellow-based. You can see it next to that orange. Definitely more red in it, but it still leans warmer. The next one is raspberry. Now this is the other shade that's only available, at least I'm only finding it on the e.l.f. Cosmetics website. There's what the shade looks like. So this is more of a blue, maybe a pink leaning red. You'll see it when it's swatched here. A bright berry. See how that compare how much more blue there is in that. So that's raspberry and that's pepper. And the next one is another red. There's three reds, which I find really interesting. And this one is cherry. So this one's the deepest. This one to me is the truest kind of neutral red, kind of that true red. It does lean to maybe just a hint blue, but not much. You can see there's not as much pink in that one, but it's got it's cooler than this one. So pepper, raspberry, cherry. And next is a purple sugar plum, kind of a deep purple. I don't think it shows up quite that deep uh, on my lips. I mean, it's bold. There's sugar plum. And then the last one of the 10 is cocoa, which is a very deep brown. Uh, with a cool, almost maybe slightly mauve undertone, I would say. So there's everything. Um, 10 shades, as I said, persimmon and raspberry are the two that I'm only finding at elfcosmetics.com. The other ones I was able to find at target.com or in a target store. I like the range. I like that it goes from very, very pale to really pretty deep. In fact, there's a lot of like bold shades in this line. So it's not heavy on the neutrals like a lot of um, lines are, but it's still got a really light one, a warmer leaning nude, a more pink leaning, we'll say nude. Um, this one's kind of in the middle, and then we've got a bright orange and a bright yellow based red and a bright berry red and a bright true red, and then a really bold purple and a really bold deep brown with just a slightly mauve undertone. So again, I think they did a really nice job with this range. And that, you know, I admit this is kind of my comfort area typically. For lip colors so it would have been nice to have like a slightly lighter pinky nude or a slightly deeper one but i'm not complaining there's only 10 shades and i feel like they've chosen a lot of undertones here particularly in the reds um they've gone really deep they've gone really pale i'm not going to complain about that in a range of 10 lipsticks that are three dollars a piece i really think they did a nice job and aside from the colors which i think they did a nice job on i love this formula it's this color in particular taffy this lipstick when i can't figure out what to wear this is the one i've been grabbing for the last two months um i've had it on in some pictures on instagram and that kind of thing when i'm working when i'm doing whatever this is kind of my go-to shade but i like a lot of the other ones and actually doing the lip swatches um, was interesting for me because I hadn't worn all the colors, not every single one. So doing the lip swatches, you'll see that I tried on everything and, uh, you know, they aren't all my favorite. I wouldn't pick every single one of them, but you know, I think I could get away with all of them. You'll have to let me know what you think about that. So I know you're waiting on the lip swatches. We'll do those right here. Hope I'm not 
it scaring you? Cause this seems natural to me So there you go. And again, now that you've seen the lip swatches, here's the comparison, if that helps you. So yeah, the e.l.f. Seriously Satin Lipsticks. I just, I got nothing but good to say about these. Love them. Love the range. Love the feel going on. They're so creamy. Love that they leave a bit of a stain. Love that they're $3 each. So well done, e.l.f. I say, highly recommend these. Um, and I hope that was helpful because that is my only purpose here. I absolutely love this stuff. I really like that you hang out and we just talk makeup. It's so great um, that this can happen, right? Um, I hope you're at peace today and I will talk to you soon.